We continue our team coverage now. Extraordinary security measures are being taken all across the nation and right here in Connecticut as well, where police are preparing for the potential of an armed protest in Hartford today. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter A. Galal is live in our studio this morning with how our state is getting ready. Aya. Caitlin, law enforcement agencies have increased their presence in and around the state capitol. We've seen more barriers and more patrols as well. With high intentions across the nation, state officials are urging people to stay away from the capitol today. During the deadly attempted coup at the U.S. Capitol, police were outnumbered and overwhelmed. Some guys started getting a hold of my gun and uh, they were screaming out, um, you know, kill him with his own gun. Um, at that point, you know, it was just like self-preservation. Um, you know, how do I survive this situation? Law enforcement agencies across the country are hoping to avoid a repeat of the deadly chaos that unfolded at our nation's capital on January 6th. In Connecticut, state police, capital police, local and federal agencies are on heightened alert. This comes as the FBI warned of armed protests at all 50 state capitals today. With the current climate uh, in America today, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Uh, I think this is going to look different uh, from what we're used to. A U.S. government official tells CBS News that recent intelligent bulletins conclude that the greatest threat to the inauguration is domestic violent extremists. The FBI is saying, quote, between now and the presidential inauguration on January 20th, we will be maintaining an around-the-clock heightened posture to monitor for any emergency threats to the region. And the FBI says it has not seen any credible threats in our state, but continues to monitor for potential threats in the coming days. Law enforcement here in Connecticut say they would rather be overprepared than underprepared. Live in the studio this morning, Aya Lal, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.